Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Suzerain. Now oh guys, it's playing up. Okay, welcome to another episode of Suzerain. Um, we're just going to jump into this. We're still getting flown in. In, in a, you might as well say that. Because that's what the, the for a president in the first couple of weeks will be planning to release what you promised the population of Suzerain. Of Swordlands, I should say. Right, let's go. Thanks for the seven people who watched my video. It means a lot to me and I'll keep making more videos of this game until I give up. <coughs> I, know, I probably won't give up, but I need more subscribers. I need tons more. Thousands. Okay, where were we? Those are just just reports, so we don't need reports. Uh, they're just not that important at the moment. Oil output, maintenance, infrastructure, agriculture growth, congratulations. And that's it. So our capital, that must be our capital. No, I don't know. Poor sword. Uh, we've got a meeting on media strategy today, so we'll put that in our thing, media, how to deal with the media. Let's see how we go. My pen's not working again. Um, okay, Lucian and Petra arrived at my office to talk about recent developments in the media strategy. Okay. Both, they both took their seats across from me. Lucian put on his reading glasses and quickly went over some documents. Petra turned to Lucian and nodded. Greetings, gentlemen. I have just received further information from the interior about the sudden fire that broke out at the Walsford State University archives nearby. Which it did. I think I read that. Uh, isn't, I can say I'm not interested or tell me more. The initial report from the Horsword Police Chief indicated a potential arson case. In accordance with protocol, the Swordish Intelligence Dictor Directorate has been called. Is the SID really necessary for this? Why would anyone hit the archives at, of a universe in the first place? I see no logical motive there. Uh, it seems like the chief suspects foreign sabotage. They informed us that a large section of the archives has been destroyed. It included tens of thousands of global recognised research documents in original by the great thinkers of our people. Back to Petra's point. If this was asked, and what could the motive have been? Yeah, we'll go with that one. The fact that the employee records have been destroyed along with the research documents raises further questions. Luckily, most originals have copies in the other universities and some international libraries. Right. The first ed edition of my favourite book, The Geopolitics Politics of Swordland by Herman Aqua, was destroyed. 1980. Maybe it's just a freak accident. We do have the copies of the most important work, so no single fire can eradicate our knowledge. I see no point in destroying employee records either. More importantly, Lucian mentioned that Marcel contacted him. Coronet had always been known as one of the richest and most influential families in North Swordland. Uh, Marshall was no exception. So... Doesn't say how much he made, but anyway. Uh, he was the oldest son of Conruff. And so he was the CEO of the shareholder of the whatever that is. Uh, the richest man in the eternity of Swordland. He has offered to meet with you, Mr. President. Oh. 
Why is he sending his son? He uh, unfortunately passed away. Oh, God. He passed away. After the passing of his father, may he rest in peace. Marshall aims to become the next CEO of the Hoss. He mentioned a productive collaboration. Uh, they are a powerful and influential media conglomerate. I can't even say that. Man, these big words. To start with, they own the Swordland Today newspaper. The Swordish Broadcast Corporation, the S. Which means it would be wise to have them by our side. Right, what does the productive uh, entail? Because I forgot. He did not wish to explain the details over the phone, but rather in person. Okay. They have substantial power over the content of media outlets, headlines, radio shows. That's what he, what he wants him to do is what we need to understand. Okay. Well, no media expert, but Lucian made some very interesting arguments at the preparation meeting yesterday. There are two ways we can approach the media. One of them is by influencing it, which has clear advantages. The other one is keeping it independent. We might do that one. I know it's sort of leaning towards corruption, maybe. I don't know, corruption where you can corrupt the population into believing what you say. Or the media can be independent, which if one mistake we make, bang, that we've gone anyway. So let's do the media as a tool to be used. I okay, media plays a huge role in adapting public opinion towards our views and policies while helping us avoid damage from scandals or mistakes. While I do acknowledge that this will sound a bit harsh, I certainly believe that our perspective, knowledge and experience allows us. that our pros uh, hmm. considering the very recent history of sword on there two knocks for her at the door oh here he is please come in my new secretary entered the office her dark curls bounced as she crossed the room to my desk with her big boobs. No, I'm just joking. And she spoke with a slight lift in her voice. Excuse me, sir. Mr. President, I mean. <laughs> uh, sec uh, Mr. Glade, secretary has been calling her and wanted her to relay a message to me. The new CEO for Hoss is on the line. Okay. I thought he was in the office. Would you like to talk to him? Uh, no, I'm going to talk to him. He'll fuck it up. I'll probably fuck it up too, but he'll fuck it up. <laughs> I'll talk to him. <laughs> we'll both fuck it up. Right away, sir. Connect him. I picked the phone up. President speaking. Oh, that sounds formal. It's an honour, Mr. President. My time is valuable, uh, so we'll not waste any of it. Differently, so he's going to run it different from his father. Worse or bad? Worse or good? I don't know. This is why I'm offering a partnership deal regarding our media branch. So I've got to go to his resort to meet to discuss the details. Is that all? I won't worry about that. Thank you for the offer. I would be interested in a meeting. This one. Okay. Thank you. See you later, Mr. Corotenti. I'll set things up right away. Expect a worthwhile meeting next month. Okay. It's settled in. Looking forward to next month. Uh, 
Well, I'm going to continue where we left off. I don't know what it... Well, we're getting ready, uh, already getting our Tentra key figures and dangerous ones, okay. Alright, what do we got here? So this is a declining energy output at Vegan Dem. I thought this, is it just like a story thing or can I build stuff or something? Alright. I'm confused. This is a tourism potential. Boost in tourism, okay. Uh, what have we got here? Sid joins HSU fire investigation. Okay. Party uh, reform committee reports that any potential change in the direction of that reformers would likely result in strong opposition. Okay. So we got campaign finance bill. And what's this one here? Investigate mega infrastructure. Okay, so we'll keep doing this video. We've got 11 minutes. I don't want to stop it now and start a new one. Uh, let's go with this one here. Campaign finance bill. The CFB bill has been passed by the... Oh, this is just talking to me about it. Okay. Oh. Alright. Uh, section 1 of this bill stipulates a significant change in the methodology of public funding so allocations by political parties. Section 2 sets the annual financial allocation of political parties at 500,000 yen per each member of assembly. Okay. Um, section 3, consequential effect of this amendment it will effectively lead to a substantial increase in the election budget. Section 4 highlights an important consequence of this reallocation parties that do not meet the 10% election threshold will see their public funding curtailed. This measure ensures the public resources are concentrated towards parties with a significant in the assembly. So we might do that because that's... Sorry. Unfair funding. Oh, well, I didn't like that. <laughs> well, isn't that these are the ones I've got to try and fix? Economy has put forward two bold plans for mega infrastructure projects that would help with the economic recession in the long term. Investing in projects of this scale would take up some portion of our budget but could prove worthwhile if accomplished successfully. So, one government spending, which is budget, so it's going to knock that down to six now. Okay. Oh, yeah, he passed away. That's why I should be reading the news instead of flipping through all this. Nothing much there. Temperatures are getting cold.
an air lord that further expands on the unfairness of our election. Oh, well, I probably shouldn't have done that then. I forgot. Forgot. I don't understand what a lot of this means. We should have read it properly and then cancelled it, but anyway. So they no, not many people liked that one. Um, okay, let's uh, see what these guys want. Discussion of the potential infrastructure projects. Blue Mansion. Uh, the view towards the market seat from. Latchin was nothing short of exquisite. The seaside state residence fit and named the Blue Mansion was large, fine and accommodating. Probably until I got that building. But enjoying the luxurious mansion wasn't the main reason of our visit. We gathered the economic team here to discuss the new infrastructure project. Okay. Alright, oh, Mr. President, we need to focus on boosting the economy as quickly as possible. One of the fastest ways to achieve this is through infrastructure projects, which I just did. Uh, what can we focus on? On the one hand, businessmen are complaining about the slow logistical rail network between Horse Lord and Losh. On the other hand, Citizens are criticising the lack of proper highway connection between. So it's see, the highway's just going to get people between one area to the next. At least this one here is... Rail network would be... Logistical rail network would be more important than having people drive. <laughs> uh, narrow areas where the seaside are not only dangerous but also difficult to traverse. We need to pick the most profitable option for economic growth. The citizens and their means matter most. So we'll do click this one. Obviously connecting our two most economical, powerful cities. It is not business people who are suffering now, but ordinary folk. All right. What really matters is that your first economic act accomplishes something tang tangible. So people aren't going to be happy... Alright, we must improve the economic of the nation, bring it out of recession. That's the first top one we need to do. To that point, I define two important products for your attention. The highway, H3 highway project and the L1 high speed rail project. Right, the ministry can only support one project at a time. With our current capacity and budget, let's move on to the details of each. Okay. I probably want to we'll see what the high-speed rail project is. Your predecessor failed to deliver, to, do, to deliver on this campaign promise, but now we have the opportunity to start the construction of a groundbreaking railway project. As you know, our current trains cannot meet the standards of today, and as many other countries adopt the electric energy, we're falling behind. Yes. They too want to transfer resources and materials from Horseland to... So that's this place here. Horseland to where? Oh, this place. Agreed. The superpowers have led the way with their high quality. You know, we've got to keep up. This could also empower business and bring investments. Major cities of Holland need more infrastructure to support their grow, growing population. Oh. We'll do this one here. This should be our priority, growth and development. 
Our plans to upgrade the old L1 line from Horsen to it will transform into a high speed railway. The plan construction starts right here at the capital. For now, we're going to Ah, uh, see, so, uh, Enrisha first, which is that place, and then connect to Gelsford, Gelsford, whatever, and then it will connect, reach that one, our economic powerhouse. The L1 was sniffing a bit of the nearly leaked cities and even the royal areas in between. Is our primary port, so the goods unloaded, it will be transported to Hall Sword much faster. We won't do that. So I believe this would benefit Swordish businesses and school Swordland as a whole, as we should link these rural areas in the middle with the major cities of Swordland. We're talking about the wealthiest regions, we're getting about whatever that is. The mayor of Also requested this project to be prioritised. Eh? So who's this guy? He's the. He's got his own business, a seaside hotel. How is that gonna? Hmm. Okay. Businessman in the region will be very content, which in turn will increase investments and employment. Therefore, I will recommend the L1 high-speed rail project. We're just going to do that. We'll, don't worry about... No, hang on. We'll... Aim to improve state of the road network. Well, so they feel neglected, but it's, we want either money or pe people happy. There are no proper highway connections to and from England. The Mayor of Anvery, Nick Neal, has been asking for a bigger budget about the regional infrastructure. If they have high speed rail between these four places, three places, it'll, it'll get these trucks off the road more or less. So we're going to start at this place here. Starts there. From there it leads to this place. Then this place. It's one, two, three. This is why we should, yeah. Decided on the L1 high speed rail project to improve the connection between them, our most productive cities. Yeah, we're doing that. That's the right choice, Mr. President. The negations will begin in the middle of this year, so you will be able to award the contract to a corporation of your choice. What have we got? 24 minutes. Two years. All right, done. No news, what have we got? So now we're back into this city here, Horsword. Vest in Arshan's company stocks. So 
So we'll do this for the last one and then we'll stop the video when right. a personal investment opportunity has been relayed by Mr. Manager. Who's Mr. Manager? Mm. Experienced stockbroker in Ventura City, Arshans, whatever that is, is selling valuable shares, uh, industries, and in, uh, an up and coming electronics manufacturing company. We should, we could invest or let the opportunity pass. I don't know. We'll invest, bugger it. Dropped one there. Yeah. Uh, well, we do, might as well do this one as well. We'll just rush it on though, so we don't have that much time. Um, oh, nice. Papa, Mama told me it's time to go. Okay. I'll be there very soon. So she's going to see the palace. Now, where's my first lady? Okay. Just kiss her hand. He doesn't like it. Yes, the sooner we go, the sooner it will be over. All right, let's go. You, you stick of it. These people are our, our friends. All right, so they're our friends. Come on, keep going, keep going. Dad, do I really have to go? Could I stay home instead and do whatever boys do? I'm nervous myself. <laughs> Plenty of girls, yeah. He wants a dead skill. <laughs> Cars waiting, let's go, come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Do you plan on working together with the opposition parties on the expected constitutional reforms? Uh, my administration will bring real change, which it will. No, no comment. One of your first acts as president was to sign a campaign finance law allocating public election funds by seats uh, in this deliberate attempt to defund the Communist Party and the Workers' Party, neither of which have reached the election threshold. It was great on by the majority of the GNA. I couldn't use my veto on the first day. Perhaps it was. I left unchecked. Those two posts will only make trouble for me. It's to ensure the USP has funds, we need to stay in power long enough to try to bring democracy to this country. Hey, Uncle Petrus, hey.
That means that I'll, uh, I plan to use my powers first lady of events to position of women throughout sword long equal rights for our sex uh, long overdue. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we're in the ballroom. We should show like pictures and that. We have to get used to it. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh no! What happened? Did I get fucking assassinated already? Petra and I turn towards each other. Oh, I'm still alive because I wouldn't be buddy looking at someone. Fireworks? No, gunshots! Get down. Three more gunshots rang out. Hmm. Oh, I didn't die. Status report. Not over yet, we gotta get out of here before we get shot. Quiet, please. Well, don't talk. <laughs> oh, that's buddy, but that was scary. Attack on my life. Need to find out what is going on. No, oh, okay. I still don't understand. No, oh, so once we talk, this is what we know so far. We have confirmed that two people were gunned down in front of the palace. Decker is one of them, and we have reasons to believe he was working alone. Good. At an MP, alright. Oh no. Why did they kill him? Communist politician. Oh god. So I passed that bill, got them fucking killed. That's all I need. This is here, dear Tom. This will cause a lot of problems, dude. Yeah, no shit. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing and you can't you and I can't handle it. Oh Jesus. USP is me, so we're still on a hundred and thirty. MP shot. So that, that maybe they'll, they're going to blame me. Hmm. Nothing about the shooting. Oh, here, this one. That's the only news. Alright. Oh. Security increase. You know, the capital has been heightened after the murder of Bernard, the mayor of Horsford reports that everything is under control. So the investigation has been launched. Well, I didn't get him killed. 
Well, we'll go for another five minutes because we've got the emergency meeting. Shot it dead at 9.03 in front of the palace gates. The famous communists. President and his family were unharmed, praise God. An MP shot me to pulse. This is absolutely unacceptable. So I wasn't the target. You were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Our security forces have no reason to believe. Uh, They promised revenge to oh, the Red Youth. Right. This is turn spark further aggression from the young swords. The whole cycle started because Bernard exposed his views. We can't seem to look away, okay. Freedom of expression is part of our constitution. We can't have anyone, let alone an MP, shot for voicing different opinions. The nationalist young schools have overstepped and they must face consequences for such an extreme action. Uh, the ideology that Red Youth promotes poses threats to a country too. We should be cautious. Spark fair aggression from the young swords. Freedom of speech. We had that before and know very well how it was. Are you concerned? Our pol police do their best to uphold the rights of the citizen, blah, blah, blah. We need to defuse the situation. Our government is capable to maintain security. Our job will be to reduce tensions. Uh, good, good. Must think about the upcoming budgets. I am sure the military has already taken the necessary precautions. Okay. Tension between the will escalate fur, blah blah blah. Oh, we're done. We might end this video here. Um, check out the news. Did something happen here? Murder at the palace. Yeah. So that's under construction. Continue. A few days later. Commerce party suspected of bomb attacks. Weapons seized in Central Cultural Center. Great. Illegal firearms found in the Communist Party's office. It's like they're setting him up. I'm not doing this. Illegal... <laughs> Uh, so damn at maximum capacity, that's not good. Young swords uh, dead after terror attack. What is going on? Police understaffed, police overburdened.
Right, we'll deal with that on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.